Welcome to Jom Study Love YouTube channel. Hope you are doing very well in your studies and preparations for upcoming examination. Hope that for today's presentation would be beneficial for your preparation in your examination. Today's lesson is about reviewing past year multiple choice exam question for chemistry 2019 part 2 of 2. Without further ado, let's get started. Which statement describes a chemical property of aluminum oxide? It is an amphoteric substance which react with both acid and bases. So the answer would be B. It reacts with acid and bases. The result of two tests on an aqua solution of X are shown. What is X? The X when it tests with aqua sodium hydroxide added and it will become green precipitate form and this solution of X where it reacts with acidified aqua silver nitride it becomes yellow precipitate forms so the X will be iron to iodide four stages used to prepare an insoluble salt are listed so first we have Precipitation is the pre-process. Then they can be collected by filtration, which is number two, three, two. And third, followed by washing and dry on a paper. So the answer would be B. The element sodium to argon form period three of the periodic table, which row Describe the trend across period 3 from left to right. So this is you have to refer to the periodic table. And we have to be alert the properties of the elements. So when the number of outer shell electron increases, the metallic character will be decreases. And the group numbers is also increases. Estatin is below iodine in group 7 in the periodic table. Which row describes the properties of estatin? Estatin is solid at room temperature. Iodine, chlorine and bromine are more reactive than estatin. So iodine, chlorine and bromine cannot be displaced. The answer would be D. Which statement explain why elements in group 8 of the periodic tables are unreactive? Noble gas atom already have entire outer shell and therefore they are not inclined to lose gain or share electrons. This is why noble gases are chemically inert and do not participate in reactions. So, the answer for this would be C. They have a full outer shell of electron. In which reaction does iron form ions when the mixture is heated? So the answer for this would be D. When the ions react with CuO, copper oxide, so it will form iron when the mixture is heated. Number 28. The list gave the order of some metals and hydrogen in the reactivity series. Metal X is also included. If you see from the bottom, you have copper, you have X, hydrogen, zinc, magnesium, and lead. So, which row correctly show the property of metal X? What is actually X? 
x is actually lead. And lead does not react with hydrochloric acid, which is react with dilute acid, no, or dilute sulfuric acid. And lead to oxide is reduced by heating in it in the presence of carbon monoxide. So oxide reduced by carbon is also yes. So the answer will be B. Which metal carbonate does not produce carbon dioxide when it is heated? So sodium carbonate and potassium carbonate are two carbonate salts that do not produce carbon dioxide on heating. So the answer will be C. Which a statement about the attraction, attraction of metal is correct. Zinc oxide is heated with coal. Zinc and carbon monoxide are formed. Zinc oxide is losing oxygen and it is a reduction of zinc oxide. So the answer will be zinc is obtained by heating zinc oxide with coal. 31. The diagram show how water is treated to make it suitable for drinking. We have a reservoir of water. If a condensation is actually the process by which water vapor in the ice, in the air, is changed into liquid water, and sublimation is a process of, if you can see the example is a dry ice, solid room air refreshment. Okay, evaporation is a process of turning from liquid into vapor. So the most suitable answer for this will be stage two is filtration. And then it goes to chlorination and then to produce drinking water. So the most suitable answer for number 31 is filtration. 32, what are the main substances produced by the fractional distillation of liquid air? Argon, oxygen, and nitrogen are obtained from air by fractional distillation. Liquid air at minus 250 Celsius is warm up and the gases is collected one by one. During the distillation, nitrogen gas is obtained first, then argon and oxygen. So the answer would be oxygen and nitrogen. The raw material from the harbor process are hydrogen and nitrogen. What are the sources of the hydrogen and nitrogen? The process combines nitrogen from the air with hydrogen, derived mainly from natural gas, which is methane, into ammonia. So the answer will be B, hydrogen from methane and nitrogen from air. Which process removes carbon dioxide from the Earth's atmosphere? Among the four, what do you think? Do you think that photosynthesis removes carbon dioxide? Yes. The process which is used to remove carbon dioxide from the air is photosynthesis. The contact process is used to make sulfuric acid. The steps in the process are listed. Okay, you have heat sulfur strongly in the air and then followed by pass sulfur dioxide over a vanadium oxide catalyst. And then you have dissolved sulfur trioxide in 98% concentrated sulfur acid. And finally, you have to add oleum to water. Number 36. The fraction distillation of petroleum is shown. Which fraction is the least volatile? So the answer to this is you have to refer to the chapter fractional fractional distillation. So you get the similar diagram, and the answer for this is determine. Which statement about members 
of a homologous series is correct. A homologous series is a series of hydrocarbon which have similar chemical properties and they share the same general formula. They are organic compounds having similar structure and functional group. The successive members of homologous series are differed by CH2 group and the molecular mass of the minus CH2 group is 14 AMU. Hence, each successive homologous series differ by a mass of 14 AMU. The answer for this will be successive members have a molecular mass that differ by 14. Number 37 would be B. Ethanol is manufactured on a large scale by fermentation, which a statement about fermentation is correct. So the answer for this is microorganism is used in ethanol production. So sugar are present in sugar cane, sugar beet, sugar sorghum. Is used of this raw material, which require only milling, fermentation, distillation, and denaturalization, so that it is not harm for the human consumption. So the answer for 38 will be a renewable raw material is used. The structure of a compound G is shown. So G is the same homologous series as ethanoid acid. So you can see here, which row describes some of the property of the aqua solution of G. So if you can see, this is a formula for propionic acid, C3H6O2. So G is actually is a propionic acid. It will release hydrogen gas on reaction with magnesium. So the answer will be yes. And as a compound G is an acid, it cannot turn methyl orange to yellow. So the answer for this would be C. And for T, nylon contains the amide linkage group CONH. And it experiences hydrogen bonding between polymer chain. This occurs between the hydrogen atom bond to nitrogen and the nitrogen of an adjacent change. This increases nylon strength dramatically and the amide functional group. So the answer for number 14 will be A. Nylon contain the CONH linkage. With that being said, wish you all the best in your study and in your upcoming examination. And Please subscribe to Jom Stadilla YouTube channel and follow me at Jom Stadilla Instagram. Uh, customized notes are currently available at https beacons.ai slash jomla or other options is you can retrieve this beacon.ai is via Jom Stadilla Instagram. That's all for today. And I hope to see you later. Thank you very much for listening.